Hi everybody, this is the Cup of Joe show. I'm Joe, this is Jeremy. Uh, welcome, we're, we're back here for another week. Uh, we're going to bring you some good stuff. We didn't get out to a, a movie in the past week, but you know, as always, we're bringing you, you know, some nice high quality content and we're going to bring it over to Jeremy and he's going to cover the box office. Alright. Yeah, man. Thank you, thank you Joe. Yeah, mm. you do it. All right. This is the weekend of uh, December twelfth through the fourteenth, uh, nineteen ninety-seven, which is the present. Amistad finished in fifth. Uh, Morgan Freeman and uh, Anthony Hopkins it's and got Matthew it's McConaughey. Got a good cast, yes. It indeed it does. Yes, indeed it does. Uh, that made all oh, the money. The money. The money, the yeah. Money. Uh, Four point five million dollars in fifth coming in fifth, Amistad. In fourth place we have Home Alone Three, which made five million dollars. Which uh, you know, that's that's not that's not very good, uh, for for the high hopes of the franchise. Disappointing trilogy there. It'll never be the same with that, uh, without Macaulay. Absolutely, absolutely. The, the, I, I thought the movie was just a joke, personally. Yes. Um, coming in third, for richer or poorer? You know, I'm surprised this wasn't a smash hit. With It's it's uh, Tim Allen. Need I say more? Just so six, yeah. Just six, just a six million opening. Come on, people, come on, get out there. The hell. Yeah. And in second place, we have Flubber. Great movie. Great movie. Robin Williams can do no wrong. He can do no wrong. He's definitely going to be successful for the next seventeen years. And, and it's in its third weekend. It has made uh, six point seven million. Its total is up to fifty-eight million, and you know that that is that is awesome. I will because I, yeah, I, and I, I I can envision this having good legs and making it to six hundred million at some point. Oh, more than sure. more than movies that are coming out this weekend, definitely. Absolutely. Where do you hear the movie? There, it's a joke. No, it's, I'll it's, <laughs> it's a joke. They're not gonna make any money. Coming in at number one, the sequel that we had all anticipated and hoped for, Scream 2, busting out with $33 million in its opening weekend. You know, I loved the first one. and It was great. Yeah, yeah and, and I think uh, one of the main characters should play Shaggy in Scooby-Doo um, eventually. And Nev Campbell, she's going to be years. She's going to be in movies for years. This, this Oscar is, winning movies yes, too. Yes, this has absolutely launched her career. Uh, Nev Campbell, you're going to see sure. her everywhere, everywhere. Her her set of movies will not be limited to the Scream franchise. I can tell you that right now. It just won't. So uh, that's that's the box office. Um, that that's uh, that's all I have to say about that. Okay. Well, uh, I I would say that's a pretty solid weekend for December. You know, a, a horror movie opening to that much. Uh, you know, that's uh, that's that's good stuff there. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, we're gonna move into the upcoming movies this weekend, and uh, with that, we're gonna start with Mouse Hunt. This, uh, of course, based on the popular board game in which you have to hunt mice and uh you set up all sorts of traps for them and uh you know get into some uh get into some hijinks and, and stuff. It you know it's it's a great board game. It is. It's, it's a fun. great board yeah. game. I in fact never play it. Um I just try to set the mouse trap. That's that's about it. So that's uh, yeah. it 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 should be a smash hit. Probably, I'm I'm thinking, eighty million opener, uh, for this one. That's reasonable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you're, you might even be underselling it. I th I I think I might. Yeah, you're okay. right. You're right. Look for this one. Go out to see it. Absolutely. 
And uh, our next film is Tomorrow Never Dies. And this is uh, the Pierce Brosnan follow-up to GoldenEye, which, uh, you know, kind of rebooted the franchise there and, uh, you know, brought brought some people back into the fold. Had a long layoff, you know, off for, for six years. I think the last one before GoldenEye was uh, Octopussy, but I'm not quite sure. Who knows? I just wanted to say Octopussy. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so Tomorrow Never Dies is coming out. Thoughts? Well, Joe, I I really liked GoldenEye, and the uh, game is uh, it's it's fantastic. I have it for N64. Um, I'm more of a, of a PlayStation guy. I've been playing Spyro the Dragon lately. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, I tell you all the time, you're a loser. So, <laughs> you know, get an N64. It's it's where it's at. PlayStation is going nowhere. Okay. There won't be a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or an overpriced 4. Um, or an unnecessary 4. Anyway... I'm just thinking, no, PlayStation's done. It's done, okay? And so, uh, what film are we talking about? Tomorrow Never Tomorrow Dies. Tomorrow Never Dies. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think that Pierce Brosnan, uh, he should probably, you know, con continue to do at least, you know, seven or eight films. He's a fantastic Bond, clearly the, clearly the best ever, um... You know, and, and I think uh, I think they should bring Sean Bean back uh, for this one. I don't. I'm I'm expecting some sort of cameo. I know he looks dead, but you know, I, I I just have a feeling that all these all these films that will come after this Sean Bean is in, he's just gonna die in all of them. So like, let's just let's just bring him back. Let's not typecast him as a character who always dies in every film. Sean Bean, I hope you make a cameo in this film and keep on living. Uh, other than that, this should probably drop off. Uh, tomorrow will die. Crash and burn. Not even, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, probably six million. Um, you know, Mouse Hunt is clearly going to lead the, uh, lead the weekend. Yeah. That, that's the no-brainer. Yeah. And then, and then there's this other movie coming out that we can just, uh, we can just breeze over. It's called, uh, uh, Titianic, I think, is it? Yeah, uh, I thought it was Titanic. Ti oh, ti oh, that makes more sense. Titanic. It's Titanic. Yeah. Titanic. But like, let's you know, let's just call it Titanic because like that's that's what it should be. You know, I feel like that should be the correct pronunciation. For Wait our, a minute. For our purposes. The ship. There was a ship. Oh, the ship. Yeah, it sank. And why is that interesting? I don't know. These oh. sh ships, they sink. It's what they do. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I mean, okay. So what's what's the other? What what's gonna be so great? What's what's gonna get this movie like a million? Uh, I don't know. It, there's there are these two people in it. Uh, Kate Winslet and uh, what's the other dude's name? Uh, like Leonardo something or other. Um, it's a, his, par yeah. his parents named him after a Ninja Turtle. I mean, this kid's he, he's going nowhere. It's right, just... I I totally agree. I I think his last name starts with with a D. Okay. It's like it's like Diprio. Diprio, sure. All right. Leo Diprio. Leo Diprio. Well, you know, his parents did a nice job. You know, it, it flows very nicely. It does, yeah. Uh, but. Um, this I I have no interest in this movie whatsoever, and I just don't think it will do well overseas, underseas, <laughs> uh, at at home. I I just I, I don't I don't see it happening. You know, I, I, James Cameron, like, what are you doing? Terminator to Titanic? What 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 gives? Where's Terminator Three? Exactly, man. exactly. Like, what what are you doing? Or or a two. <laughs> Or did two come out already? Did we see that? Did we see that and I missed it? Terminator 2 came out six years ago. Oh my gosh. He didn't even do that. Like, where were you for that one? 
is the thing, alright, James Cameron, you decided to do Titanic. Like, th this is gonna be a, it's gonna be a terrible film. No one's going to see it. I don't know why I, I can't convince you to go see it. It's, it's, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be horrible, and it will, it will crash and burn. I think, uh, I think It'll sink. It'll sink! Ah! Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, who knows? Um, although another knock on this film, the trailer gives it away. What is it supposed to be based on history? Come on, don't be ridiculous. This is just it, yes, it, it's gonna sink. My prediction is two million, and then we'll never see from it again, or or hear from it. any of the people. Have, have you listened to that soundtrack? It's awful. It's that, so bad. The, yeah, the lead song. It's just. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, it's just awful. I know. I know. I, I just. I, I don't. I don't know what else to. I don't know what else to say. It's, you know, it's it's supposed to be history and love, and who wants to see that, really? Oh, so, ooh, we digitally remastered the ship, the entire ship. Ooh, ooh, I'm James Cameron. I'm, yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, you, you think you're going to have a smash hit here, I bet. And then I think you bet you're going to have another smash hit that will make billions... You won't. You won't. Nah. Mm -mm, won't happen. You think you're going to have the two highest grossing films of all time? You're you're wrong. You're wrong. Nope. So. You can't make a movie that appeals primarily to women. That's never going to work. No. Men see movies. That's right. That's right. So. Good luck, James. That's amazing. That's all I got to say. April Fools! April Fools! Well, I guess we better get to the show. Yeah, we should. Um, that was an April Fools joke. We uh, obviously switched places and bodies, I guess. Um, <laughs> and uh, decided to confuse people, all two of you, by uh, doing <laughs> box office and stuff from 1997. Mm -hmm. So, it is in fact 2014. We did not travel back in time. And switch bodies, in case you were worried. We, we are not time travelers. Yes. I, maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll walk outside and it will be 1997. That's true. But we're pretty sure it's still 2014. That would be crazy if, like, the Packers that are behind us, like, changed to, like, the 1997 <laughs> team. And this iPad transformed into a camcorder. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> then no one would see our show. <laughs> and we'd be doing this for no reason. <laughs> But uh, all right, let's let's get back into position. Okay. Hang on. All right. Yes. That's what she did. <laughs> this guy. All right. So, by the way, we didn't switch bodies. We just moved to the other side of the couch. Yes, um, this is true. So, all right. I hope you found that enjoyable. If not, it happened. So. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we're trying here. Okay? There's an idea we had. We figured we'd, we'd it, run with it. Exactly. Exactly. So, all right. Well, we have approximately six and a half minutes remaining in the show to talk about the present. So, what what are we going to spend it on? Uh, I don't know. We could uh, do a brief run through of uh, the the real box office. All right. Guess, you have two minutes. Okay. Two minutes. That uh, that puts the pressure on. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting closer now. Oh, whoops! I have the I have the 1997 went box office up. Okay, fifth place went to uh, God's Not Dead. That dropped just uh, five percent to 8.8 .8 million. It has a total of 21.8 million. Um, that's a really small drop, but it did add about 400 theaters, just as a, just as a caveat. Fourth place was Mr. Peabody and Sherman that, uh, continued its good legs. It was down 23%, made a little over 9 million, and its total is a little shy of 95 million dollars. Uh, number three was Muppets Most Wanted. That fell 34% to 11.3 it has a 33.1 million total. Uh, that's a good hold, but considering it opened so weak, um, it's not good enough. 
Number two uh, was Divergent. That was down 53%. It made 25.6. It has a total of 94.4. Uh, with that drop, we don't have to see it. It was 38%. Okay. Good. Um, that's not a bad hold. It's not It's not a good one. Divergent will probably make about 140-ish or something. And we'll see how the sequels do. I forgot that bet. They're, they're inevitable. Yeah, unfortunately. Our number one film, Noah, with a forty-three point seven million opening. That's uh, that's quite good. Um, uh, the word of mouth doesn't seem particularly great or anything, but I mean, with a forty-three million opening, you're pretty much guaranteed a uh, hundred million, unless you're Daredevil, which uh, opened. To, I think it was like forty-one and then crashed and burned. But for the most part, if you open over forty, you're guaranteed a hundred. So Noah will probably make like one fifteen. Three things. Daredevil is a better movie than people make it out to be. I agree. It is not good, but it is, it's better than a lot of the superhero crap that comes It's better than Green Lantern, that's for sure. And it brought the world out of essence. Very good. Uh, second, Noah. I'm surprised it made so much, actually. I thought it was not going to do very well. I was thinking well. more like mid-30s. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking like, uh, yeah, like 30 on mm-hmm. the dot. But, hey, good for Noah. Uh... And uh, Russell Crowe badly needed a hit. Yeah, he did. He definitely did. Uh, number three, what was the? Uh, most wanted. Uh, yeah, that was weird. I don't know why that's not making money. Uh, it was something else. I forget. Uh, Divergent. Yeah, Divergent. Whatever. It's not important. What is important is that Captain America: The Winter Soldier comes out this weekend, and you better go see it. All right. This movie looks great. It's got great ratings at Rotten Tomatoes. Like. I don't know, I don't want to get expectations up, but, like, the trailers look great, and the reviews are just like, this is, like, better than the Avengers, and, like, it's probably not, but, you know, it it looks very good. It it looks solid in so many ways. It looks like it's going to have great action scenes. It looks like it's going to be true drama. Anthony Mackie has been added, and it's... It's a Marvel Redford. movie. Robert Redford has been added. It's going to be just, you know, Scarlett Johansson's in it. Samuel Jackson's in it. And it's probably going to have that Marvel, like, ha-ha moment. <laughs> so, like, it's it just looks like an all-around solid movie. It looks like it's going to be better than Thor. Uh, the reviews are better than Thor. Um, and I enjoyed Thor. So, I mean, I see no downside for this movie. What I would shy away from is try not to go in with extremely high expectations like it's better than Avengers because I think that is just asinine. Yeah. Well, uh, largely I agree. I think the thing about the Captain America movies is that they're not quite as like entertaining or funny or fun as the Thor movies, but I think as like actual like films they are of higher quality. I think the first the first Avenger is better than the first Thor as a movie but I might rather watch Thor. Me too, me too. Yeah. So that's the thing. But uh, the Winter Soldier looks great. Um, the Winter Soldier, you know, himself, the character, looks badass. Yeah, and is. that's that's cool. Um, it just seems like everything everything is going for it. It has, um, it has a lot of connections to the Marvel Universe. You know, Nick, Th- Nick Fury, uh, Black Widow, the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier thing. Um... So that's all cool, and, you know, we get to see uh, Captain America really try to adjust to 21st century life. That should be that should be interesting, and uh, I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, um, it's a good thing you brought up the first movie, because um, I think that Captain America did a great job with the first movie, and it's, it's just kind of like, they kind of had to make it a little, I don't want to say, it it is art. It is a little darker than like all the other Marvel movies because mm-hmm. the guy dies and then he comes back seventy years later and that just thinking about that is just sad. Um, he lost everyone that he even cared about and he has to adjust to this new world. So what I'm hoping with this film is that it kind of I don't want to say distances okay. distances itself. Wow, <laughs> um, from the first one. I want it to be a little more lighthearted. It's definitely going to be dramatic. It just looks dramatic, and that's fine. Uh, I just would hope that it captures more of that Marvel humor type thing and make it more so enjoyable. Um, because that's why I would enjoy the first yeah, Thor film yeah, better, because yeah, it's absolutely. enjoyable. Absolutely. That's why I'd want to watch that more than that. So um, I'm hoping it captures that. Um, unfortunately, I didn't give you a chance to recant. Um, so... 
I'm sorry, we have eight seconds. As always, have a good weekend. See Captain America.